All right, this time I'm going to fix this issue with our mouse cursor themes. Some people were asking me how to do this, so let me show you the issue with this, all right? Normally when you apply a, a cursor theme, it should be consistent, although this is not consistent. You see I have this little white pointer here, right? Uh, it works like this on the desktop, but when you hover over this, like I say, your browser's name, this is the theme that I apply it to. This, this is... Um, green pointer here that I have like you know when you hover over links or something even if I change um, what's it? let me use gnome tweak tool here you know how you normally change your themes here right, your cursor themes like this sonic thing here and I hover over this the sonic theme does work but it doesn't work for the desktop only half the way or half the time same thing with other shit I have in here what is this one no, not that one. What is this? Yeah, this red shit. All right, and then go back to the white thing again. So it's very inconsistent going back and forth like this. And I'm not sure exactly like what the bug is. I think it's like something to do with they're transitioning from gconf tools to uh, dconf tools or something like that. Uh, whatever the fucking reason is, this is how you would uh, fix it or maybe a workaround to it. But let's change back to the one that we want to use here, this X Black 2, for example. And, you know, go download your themes or whatever, or if you have your themes still, it should be in your home folder. Um, Control H to show all hidden files. And then dot icons here. All right, dot icons. And here's all my icons that I have. Um, you would have to do this for all the ones that you want to use. Right, go into it, um, and they usually have two things here, like the cursor and the index themes. What you want to do is create a new one, create new documents, empty documents. In here, you want to paste in, um, or you want to type in this thing here. First of all, you need this header icon themes, and then you need to type in inherence equals, and then this is your theme name, right? So the theme name is usually the folder name of it. So like see this is black uh was it X Black 2? If your theme name is Sonic, then you type in that. If it's Magmar, then you type that sucker in here, right? Basically you want to save that now. So let's save this sucker. Save. And you want to rename this. You don't want to call it, you know, the untitled documents. You want to name it uh cursor dot themes, exactly like that, alright? Uh, cursor themes and then now you want to do is put this folder into our uh, root directory icons so let's do that like I said I want I want to do this the newbie way so I'm going to do alt f2 and we'll type in gksu nautilus or whatever file manager you're using Alright, and then you hit uh, your file system on the side here, and you want to go to USR, share, and icons. And in here, all you gotta do is draggedy drop this sucker in here. So let me see here, and draggedy drop. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to use other themes, you would have to go in it and then create a new one. You know, call it uh, what's that? Cursor dot themes paste a sucker that we did before but I'm just gonna do only one example for this one alright so we did that we put, we put that sucker in here and then we're gonna use this other tool uh, go and install it. it's just called G alternatives it would be uh, much quicker in the command line but you know this is the newbie way so install G alternatives it should be in your software center or whatever the hell you're using for your package manager and then go down to X cursor themes, right? Uh, and then what we're going to do is add a new one. And this little menu will pop up here. Browse this sucker. Click on home. Click on this little dot dot thing here to go up a folder. And then we want to browse to USR share. Uh, and then what's it? Icons. You can just type it in. Icons. Double click on that. And then you want to add in um, this cursor that we were using, X Black 2. And then we want to click on the cursor.themes that we created earlier, right? 
hit OK, and then hit OK here, and now it adds it to here. And then we're going to check this little thing here, and that's how we know it'll work, all right? Uh, and then exit out of that, and you can't really reload it in here. You actually have to log out, log back in, and then it will work uh, permanently, you know, with this little green arrow shit that you have, or whatever things you're using. Anyways, that's how you would solve that. Uh, and it will be consistent from the desktop, the web browser, or any other application you're using. Right? Again, I'm not really sure what the bug is, but uh, it does exist, and that's how you would work around that. Anyways, that's it for this one.